What up, y'all? I'm Christopher Marklin, author of the books Desperately Seeking Exclusivity and Desperately Seeking Pleasure. I have been in the lab for the last three months, and I can say that my next book, Desperately Seeking Clarity, will be released in May. Now, I still got a few more things to do in the process um, before it's complete and ready to go. Um, and that's what brought me to wanting to do this series. OK, um, I wanted to share my process as far as what it what I did in writing the book and getting it going from start to finish. But before we get started, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, because as I said, this is going to be a series and I want to, you know, I'm going to be releasing videos um, on the process from writing to editing to the cover design, etc. So Desperately Seeking Clarity is my third book in the Desperately Seeking series of contemporary African-American romance novels. Um, I've been working on that book for a while now, going on two and a half years at least. And even in that span of time, there's still a few more steps that have to be done before the book is complete. And that's why I wanted to do the series. If you are wanting to write your own book and, and so forth, you got to ask yourself, what is the story? That is the main question. What is the story? Um, I got people that come up to me all the time and, you know, they they say, hey, Chris, you know, I've been wanting to write a book and I just don't know where to start. Or I've got other people that they this is man the stuff that i've been through whew, i should write a book y'all this is just my personal opinion and maybe unpopular but how can i say this ain't nobody give a damn about your life because guess what all of us especially if you're if you're an adult in your 30s your 40s you're you know and end up you have been through, I'm sure, so many things in your life that are not necessarily unique. Um, it's unfortunate, but, you know, there are people that have been locked up and incarcerated. There are people that have, you know, lost loved ones. There are people that have, you know, been through some traumatic situations in their life. And I'm not trying to minimize your particular situation. However, it's not necessarily unique, nor is it compelling. And at the end of the day, a book is entertaining. It's entertainment for the reader. They, they're picking it up for an escape or they're picking it up to learn something. So you have to ask yourself, if you're writing the book, why are you writing the book? OK, are you trying to be a storyteller or are you trying to tell your story? Um, they're, they're, it may sound like it's the same thing. It may, but it's not. There's there are people that can tell a story and just take one word and craft this huge, you know, situation about that particular thing. And then you have other people who tell the something about what happened to them. They're telling their story. They're basically opening up their personal diary and sharing it with the reader. You know, it's like it's something uh, traumatic, like, say, you know, a rape or incest or murder. You know, if you've been incarcerated any of those painful situations that they may have been through, they are in turn sharing that with the reader and telling their story. So, you know, it's it's not about necessarily what you've been through and, and all of that. It's a matter of you telling the story in a compelling and entertaining way that keeps the reader's attention. What is it that would make your story interesting? All right. Why is your story going to be interesting to the reader? Now, besides the obvious of you're writing in a genre that they are familiar with and that they like, someone reads science fiction and you hand them a science fiction book. Hey, guess what? They're going to be interested at the very least because it's something they're already interesting, interested in. Um, they say that there's nothing new under the sun. And, you know, but think about it. New books are being written every day. New movies are being produced every day. So you got to ask yourself, what is it about your book? What is it about your story that would be interesting to the reader? Now, the answer to that could be you're writing about a compelling setting like me. I'm from Jamaica. So if I was to write a book about my home country and the island, the energy or whatever, that would be that may be interesting to someone who lives up in Alaska that doesn't know about a tropical paradise that is Jamaica. But anyway, it, it all depends if that's something that you're that that you can write and make it interesting. 
hey, or g- guess what? You may write about a compelling plot twist like my man Tyler Perry. Yes, Lord. That is maybe something that could be interesting to the reader. But regardless of what it is, you want the reader to be drawn into the story that you're telling. All right. You want them to be able to see the scene, the picture that you're painting in their mind with their word, with your words. And that way they are drawn in. And once they're in, by definition, they're interested. Right. Now, this is this question. Are you writing for revenue or release? All right. That that kind of ties back into the very first question, which is why are you writing the book? Um, it stands to reason that if you put in the work, the research, the writing, the editing, all of the things that it takes to write a book, you're going to want to be rewarded at the end of the process. You may want to be, you know, you may want your book to be on the Amazon bestseller list. You may want it to be on the New York Times bestseller list. You You may want it to be on Oprah's book club, whatever the case may be, that may be what you want, but that's not necessarily for everyone. Some people want their story to touch one person and they're fine with that. You know, they're not trying to be a bestseller. They went through something and they're trying to to share that because there's a feeling that, hey, if I share something that I have learned or something that I have been through and by me sharing that it touches one person's life and it impacts them in a way that makes their life and their journey better, then my mission is done. However, Regardless of what you why you're writing your book, whether you're trying to do it for revenue, meaning, you know, that, hey, I've got such a good story to tell and I can write it in such a way that I'm going to be a best selling author and therefore it's going to change change the trajectory of my life, my family's life's life, my my grandkids, my however however many people, you know, that you can do that because you can earn a living doing it. That's one thing. Okay. Or if you're like, Hey, if I touch that one person, that's another thing. So you got to ask yourself the reason why you're asking yourself that is this, what is your end game? Why are you doing it? You don't just jump in your car and start driving and don't know and just end up where you end up. No, nine times out of hell all the time, you know where you're going. You may have been there before, so you can drive by, you know, muscle memory. Or if you don't know where you're going, what do you do? You punch it in your GPS turn left because you you want to know where you're going. Even with the GPS, you still know what your destination is. And the same should be with why you're writing the book. And if you know that, okay, I want to write for revenue. Well, you have to market the book. If you want to write for that one person, you have to market the book. It doesn't matter if you got 5,000 friends on Facebook or you got 10,000 followers on Instagram and Twitter. It doesn't matter because if you are not marketing the book in a way that will make any one of those followers or any one of those, you know, friends on social media want to buy the book, what's the point? So you have to ask yourself, what is it that I'm trying to do? And then how am I going to go about getting my book into the hands of whatever audience it is that I want to read my book? So you have to know all of those things and, you know, you have to have an, an end game. One of the things, and we're going to talk about this in in a a later part of the series, is one of the big things about writing a book is it is all about planning. Okay, you have to plan whether you're doing an outline and you have to plan whether you're marketing. There's got to be a plan in place or else you're just going to be meandering all over the place and not getting to where you want to be. So think about it. Those the book is not simply going to fly off the shelf, off the shelves because of your you know, stellar personality or anything like that. There has to be a plan and then you have to work on executing that plan. I am in no way trying to suggest that you shouldn't write the book that isn't that your heart is telling you to write because, you know, of money issues or, or, you know, you not, it's about money. I'm not trying to say that. What I'm trying to say is that if, if you put pen to paper before you've put fingers to keys, right. And get your story written, understand that there is a process to everything. There's a process to no matter what you endeavor, whatever you undertake in life, there's a process to it. And that you can either work hard and, and, and work efficiently, I should say, or you can work hard and spend a lot of time, a lot of money and not necessarily get to where you want to be and fulfill your promise of writing the book that is in your heart.
Okay, so I am going to go into my process throughout this series of things that I do, the things that um, I've done in getting my first book published to my second, to my third and or soon to be my third. So if you are an aspiring author or if you have already written your books and, you know, maybe books two, one or two, whatever books, please put that information in the comment section. I would love to hear about it. I'm also going to be putting links to both of my books, Desperately Seeking Exclusivity and Desperately Seeking uh, Pleasure in the description section. So please support your boy. Click those links. Purchase a copy of the books. Um, they're both available in ebook and paperback versions. And please leave a review. Let me know what you think. If you like it, let me know. If you don't, don't tell now. Let me know. If you like it, if you don't, I want to know. I really want that feedback um, from you. So please. Leave a comment on uh, Amazon or Goodreads or wherever you purchase the book. Just leave a review. I love to hear from you. So uh, like I said, I'll be doing this every week. So please be sure you subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and like this video. Share this video. Tell your friends about it. I appreciate y'all. See y'all next week. Stay determined, y'all.